Generic bad guy man's here. Reprising his role from 2018's Robin Hood and The Dark Knight Rises and Captain Marvel and all that other bullshit. Oh. 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 Ben Mendelsohn's a great bad guy. Yeah, he is. But he is typecast to all fuck. I don't think he... I think he wants to be typecast because he only accepts these villain roles. Oh, Lyra. Troublesome as ever. He sounded drunk when he said that. He sounds drunk in general. He sounds like a real Lon Chaney Jr. It's because he's Australian. He sounds like a real Bruce Willis. Sounds like a real Ben Affleck. Sounds like a real Kit Harrington. Really? Yeah, know. he just went to rehab. Oh shit, that's unfortunate. They have a child! Find it! Child is a name. I don't know no, it either. he's so much of a villain that he just sees children as things. They built a bunker in a rock? It's probably more that he just like cut the top off the rock, hollowed out the middle, and then put the bunker in. Yeah. He didn't paper mache ya. It sounds like, it, it feels like he recreated the entire cave. He actually sculpted this planet by hand. <laughs> sculpted the planet. It's a hollow. That's how Earth. talented Mads Mikkelsen is. What yeah, planet was he on while sculpting this planet? This one. Um, Mads Mikkelsen is a god. The main theme for this movie is trash. For the bar that has been set for Star Wars and music. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely just... weak. Oh, it's Diego Pascal. I've only seen this once in theaters. I know there was one planet where the name of it in the title card was an anagram of Obi-Wan. What's all this? We're drug dealing. A heroin addict. <laughs> sex orgy. I'm gay. <laughs> gay, drug dealing, sex addict, carriage orgy. Is that a Vice article title? <laughs> About Kevin Spacey. Troopers down. Section 9. No, it's Section 8, idiot. Kendrick Lamar sings about it all the time. You should know that. I like how this is probably the only Star Wars movie where it puts troopers and makes them grounded in some kind of, like, low-level world instead of just being this cannon fodder to just die all the time. The beginning of Force Awakens tried to do that with Finn a little bit. Yeah, um, they became... tried to make... My problem with Finn is he's traumatized by watching murder, and then later on the movie mercilessly runs his lightsaber through people. Who oh, fucking cares? Yeah, Obi-Wan! Somebody! Hey! Move at me! Guy saves you from jail, better beat the shit out of him. Come on, Mothma, what a dumb name. That's the lady from the Abadab... Uh, Abadab... I believe it. I Pardon it. my stroke. I don't think Mud had a stroke, I think that's exactly the name of it in Star Wars. Is this the movie where Greg Milf Tarkin's all CGI? Mm-hmm. Okay. What's on his collar? Every single thing on their shirt, like, that's just a light socket, like, taped to a shirt. I love the fucking clothes in this universe. Remember Han Solo's gun? <laughs> has a scope on it. He never uses the scope. When that scene happened in Solo, I was like, thank you! I thought that was stupid. I thought what it kind was... of sniper rifle can be turned into a pistol? I don't like his mustache. Who is K2SOs? Yes, the droid's mustache. Not that thing. So is he the guy who's gonna be in the Wonder Woman? Or is it Pedro Pascal? The Mandalorian's Pedro Pascal. What about Wonder Woman? Yeah, who's Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman is, uh, fuck. Diego Luna. Is it? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna guess. It. It's actually Pedro Pascal. Um, I win. Damn. Fan theory. Actually just the same person. You will now have the power of the Black Panther <laughs> streeped away. This is the part where Bodhi Rook gets raped by a tentacle monster. Ah, here he is. Turn them around. Nominated for best visual effects, uh, totally deserved. Would not be mad if they. What did it lose to? Jungle Book. Uh, that's understandable, actually. That's so impressive, especially because when Ian and I watched it, it had been so long since I'd seen the originals, and Ian hadn't seen the originals, that we just thought it was a guy. Yeah. We didn't have any idea that it was the guy recreated in CGI. Yeah, it's better than the guy in the rubber mask at the end of episode three. It's better than the original Emperor in Empire Strikes Back. Oh, I don't like this scene. No one does. <laughs> I've never talked to anybody who likes this scene. It's dumb and doesn't need to be in the movie. I would argue Rizma's whole character doesn't really need to be in the movie, but... I disagree with that. Hey, you just fucked yourself. I fucking hate that bit. It's the guy who Obi-Wan cuts the arm off of. Yep. Oh. On this planet, conveniently. Even though, like, Luke's gonna buy R2-D2 in, like, what? 40 hours? So that means in a day or two, those guys are gonna conveniently be on Tatooine. No, but you have to put them in the movie or else Star Wars fans won't think, Oh look, I know those guys, haha, <laughs> ten. I didn't know for the longest time Future Emily was the guy or the actor. It's like Iwan McGregor and Obi-Wan Kenobi. I love K2SO. <laughs> that guy blows C-3PO out of the water. Taking them to imprison them in prison. Goose goes, boys. Boys in the freaking... <laughs> Just smash Cassie! <laughs> that should break his skull. Dead. Yeah. So this is something that I think was a really wasted opportunity right here. This guy represents what's great about the Force in that you don't have to see with your eyes, you just feel it. And since he's actually blind, it represents that in a really great way. The problem is, 
It's never used to great effect except for the next 30 seconds. In that final fight, he just walks with the stick towards a button and hits it or whatever. I don't even remember. Honestly, I think he's better than every single Jedi because he can do this. Yes, yeah. agreed. But like, he he would never be able to like reach out and like push something with the Force. He'd so? never be able to do the best effect, which is jumping 30 stories. <laughs> the worst one. I I would argue being able to kill 700 dudes and not be shot. With a stick is With really With just a stick, not even a lightsaber. Imagine if this guy had a lightsaber. The canonical reason for why the stormtroopers are blind, which is actually addressed in episode 4 because Luke says he can't see a fucking thing out of the helmet, is all of the armor is not custom. Mm -hmm. So, like, when a human puts it on, which makes up most of the ranks, it's like, I, I can't really... Like, the, the eye holes are up here. I can't really see out of this. Why it, even wear the helmet at that point? Because it's part of the uniform. But if you don't wear the helmet, you can shoot them accurately. Yeah, but if you wear that, don't wear the helmet, you'll be fucking, like, executed for, you know, treason. Okay, but if they changed that rule, they'd be more effective with their troops. Well, they don't care. The idea behind the Empire isn't having effective troops, it's having enough- It's the Russian method. Would... Just throw a million troops at it, and maybe 900,000 will die, but the 100,000 who live will kill the enemy. There is a sequence where Han Solo runs up and shoots, like, a couple stormtroopers, and then runs back, and they all miss when they fire back at him. Is if that the they... one where he goes, shoots a guy, and goes, screams, yes, and then runs away? Yes, I love I that scene. That so... Yeah. If they didn't have their helmets on, Han Solo would be dead. I think maybe Luke would be dead, depending on uh, who's dead. Yeah. Well, it has more to do... Probably the Force would have been, like, guiding them. So. My point well, is Han I, doesn't even believe in the Force. My point is that I, doesn't, You don't have to believe in the Force to be guided by it. My point Jesus is Jesus has a plan for us all. My point no. is Empire would probably win. Yeah. I'm beginning to think the Force and I have different priorities. Yeah, the Force prioritizes Luke and Han. Forrest Whitaker's character mm -hmm. was originally introduced in Season 5 of the Clone Wars show. Put by Forrest Whitaker? Nope. He was played by Forrest Whitaker when he appeared in the Rebels TV show, though. His eye color changes. It's green in the Clone Wars show, blue in Rebels, and then brown. Brown right now, because he's actually... <laughs> and there's Forrest no Whitaker. explanation. He's Acadian. Oh, so he can change race. Yeah. He's probably a lot blacker and stronger but prior to this movie. We probably has better lungs prior to this movie. It's probably Dwayne the Rock Johnson prior to this movie. This does seem like version 2 or 3 of the Scorpion King, because he's a little bit smaller. I'd say version player. 2. Version 3 is just a white man. It's true. Yeah, version 3 is just a white man. And then version four is Zach McGowan White. Somehow whiter. By the sixth one, Ian's gonna play the Scorpion King. 2024, hot Ian take. Mello, Ian King. is more ethnic than Zach McGowan. I, that's not even a hot take. I can't wait till the end of the movie where the best part happens. Grand Moff Tarkin and generic bad guy man fuck. Yeah, the best part of the movie. Not when the Dark Invader shows up. I didn't know Riz Ahmed was in a lot of movies. I didn't know he was in this movie. I don't think Riz Ahmed knew he was in this movie. So how do we feel about them covering up the plot hole that the Death Star blew up immediately? With this. I'm fine with it. I'm very okay with it. I don't think it was necessary. I hate Rogue One. I've never really seen it as a plot hole. Yeah. Retroactively <laughs> fixing something that wasn't broken with a movie no one asked Did you for. know if you put a firecracker in the gas tank of your car, it explodes? I don't see it as a plot hole as much as I just see it as improving. I agree, it improves. It doesn't detract from but like, it. No, I don't think it detracts from it, but again, both of the anthology films are things that improve on things that shouldn't really have been made and no one asked for. I also don't like how Forrest Whitaker sacrifices himself for no reason in this part. It seems very needless. He charged per minute for his screen time. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, visually it is. Yeah. Some gorgeous effects. Never detract from Star Wars movies being technically impressive. Except the Clone Wars. Clone Wars is the worst Star Wars movie. That is definitely the only zero I'm ever going to give a Star Wars movie unless episode 9 is just... Daisy Ridley shitting into a bucket for two hours. I might even give that a one. I don't want to call it the worst because I don't want to call it a Star Wars movie. It's yeah. really not. It's a Star Wars movie. Attack of the Clones is definitely worse. It's just first episodes what? to a TV show. That's a Star Wars TV show. Yeah. It came out in theaters. It's a Star Wars movie. So is Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 1. My achievement! Not your- This is just a scene from Spider-Man 1 where he goes, Do you feel you would have sacrificed? And I urge that- Traitor. He could have already yeah. shot him four times already. Right. We don't all have the luxury of deciding when and where we want to care about something. Star Wars fans. And some of us just decided to do something about it. You almost shot my dad. Is this the planet? Darth Vader got melted on? So far, yeah. See right there? You can still see his limbs. That's see? where Anakin's balls got chopped <laughs> off. <laughs> and, um... His sweaty, sweaty balls that were down by his knees. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations, Director Krennic. Making fucking dad jokes. I like his hat. I mean, the helmet? I love the internal continuity of Vader's helmet in this movie. It's still like a matte black. Eyes are red. Also, it's a little bit smudgy, not wicked smudgy like in episode 4. Yeah, that's the point. And like, he has like... I want to call it like a cape, basically. He has like Jedi robes. Yeah. And they go over the armor, whereas in episodes 5 and 6, they go under it. 
And I just, I love the internal consistency of Vader's. Because they didn't fucking do that in the third movie. Yep. He regresses. You get it? Choke. I made a bun. Yes, Lord Vader was very good. Do you think it was funny? If you don't, you're gonna choke and die. No, I think you're hilarious, sir. Uh, that's what I fucking thought. Did you guys see the monkey like guys? Yes. Ten. I'm not sure four of us is quite enough. How many do we need? At five. least five. Yeah. <laughs> Comfortable. Maybe cramped, but we don't, we don't fit. Thanks, Rizamed. You're gonna be great in Venom. Who would win? The crew from Rogue One or Venom? Venom. The crew from Rogue One. Oh, sorry, I mean Venom. I was fuck gonna say. Idiot. I'm a fucking moron. Well, I mean, um, the blasters would hurt. Oh, they'd fucking hurt. Didn't Venom eat a grenade? <laughs> oh, yeah, never mind. Look at how cramped it is. There's only all that negative space behind Jin. Rogue One. We can't let everyone know that we're going rogue. What should we call ourselves? I got it. Team Rogue One, a Star Wars story, heading out. Okay, Scarif, unironically, uses the same thing that they use in Spaceballs. The passcode to get in? Yes, that's what this is. <laughs> This one looks like actual tech, mm -hmm. not like a window, but like, <laughs> it's the same concept. What is all that smoke for? I don't know what the fuck that's for. It's like an excessive amount of smoke. It wasn't even just like, psh, it was a, <gasps> like a full solid 10 seconds. Are we blind? Deploy the garrison! No! Everything he says is great. He's good. I like Ben Mendelsohn. This might be my favorite Ben Mendelsohn. I don't know. Prepare for the jump to hyperspace and inform Lord Vader. I, I want to see a shot of the Death Star going through hyperspace. <laughs> just a ball just... Is that what they're saying? It's the Death Star going Death through? Death Star can move at hyper... That's, That's how it bounces so around. Because it was at Alderaan, it's at Scarif. Yeah. Imagine just being on a planet, you look up at a blank sky, and then all of a sudden, whoosh! Death Star. Whole ass here. moon. Yeeting into a planet at like <laughs> Mach 5000. The plot of episode 9, they rebuilt Starkiller base. So the rebels have to now rebuild the Death Star and then eat it into Starkiller Base at Mach 5000. I watched that movie. <laughs> Even though I'd be like, wow, this is just episode 6 again. Good job, <laughs> JJ. 0 for 2. But they never yo a Death Star into a bigger Death Star. But they still rebuilt the Death Star. Yeah, again. but they did the hyper. Hey, look at C3PO, Ian. What if instead of eating a Death Star at Starkiller Base, they eat C3PO at it? Guys, Animal. be careful. There's an ATAT. -AT. I can sense it with my eyes. <laughs> Bitch. What do you guys think Luke's doing right now? You think he's beaten off? Shooting Womp Rats in his T-16. Honestly, all the AT-ATs have a very exploitable flaw. Their legs. Did Mad Vickelson also build in little destructo... He designed forts? everything for the Imperial. Exactly. He designed their armor. Here, take this helmet. It's a little big. No, it's perfect. <laughs> and then he's making this video and he's pretending like it was his idea the whole time. He's like, yeah, totally. I'm actually just a fucking idiot. Hit a motherfucker with another motherfucker. And as usual, the black guy died first. I can't get to the shuttle. I can't plug in. You have to. I can't, but you gotta do it. Alright, I'll do it. Yeah. That was really <laughs> way too easy to solve. So why don't all the stormtroopers have Captain Phasma armor? Palpatine wants to save my knee. So he makes really cheap armor. So cheap that the fucking helmets don't fit, so all his troopers miss. I'm going! Uh, I'll do it! Black, black guy, guy dies died. first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It would've been really funny if she dropped it down there and it broke. Is this the part where he's one with the Force and the Force is one with him? It's the part where he's one of the Force and the Force is with me. Oh, this is the part where he's one of the Force. I like to believe that that's not him using the Force, that's just everyone else sucking at aiming. He's a more engaging main character than Jin. I think he's a more engaging main character than every other main character combined. That Star Destroyer's disabled. When someone sees Ian, that Star Destroyer's disabled. <laughs> I'm not a Star Destroyer. <laughs> Is there anybody out there? Is this robot coming over? Holy shit, is that you down there? You're so fucking tiny. Oh, fuck. Bye, Rizamed. He has that adrenaline momentum. He's dead. Go get him. Said, knock, knock. Gets uh -huh. shot in the chest, limps. Everyone else gets shot once and goes down. Why does he get shot twice in his run? Plot armor. Literal armor and also plot armor. This is stupid. What machine would have to do? What is the need for it? Was it like venting? Because there'd just be a fan there, Yes, right? there would just be a fan. If it was yeah, it's also a terrible vent. See, but the music isn't that It's bad. Epic. Yeah. The... It feels confused for the scene. Yeah, kind of. And then it just cuts out. He built a floor in the Death Star. He put a fuse in the middle of- This is the reverse of the bad guy explains their plan. Yeah, why is she explaining this to him? I lose nothing but time. You losing time right now by not shooting her. Oh, the shot off screen is the worst thing in movies. Oh my god. Admiral, receiving transmission from Scarif. It's nudes. Ah, it's Felicity Jones, but naked. Oh, save them. I want to see a Star Wars movie that's like thousands of years before 
this. It's what D and D are gonna do. Well, I feel like at the same, all the movies are just over this like maybe century. Mm -hmm. I want to see maybe not necessarily Knights of the Old Republic, but like something in that era. I would want to see Knights of the Old Republic. I actually think it's an interesting storyline. Darth Revan is one of the most compelling characters. Mandalorian Wars, Lightspeed Wars, Jedi Civil War. There's so many events in the Star Wars canon. No, but let's make Han Solo race. Dude, on top of that, you wouldn't have any of those like weird forced cameos in any of those planets. Oh, this is a great scene. <laughs> oh, you know what the best part is though? They don't fucking kiss, and I'm very happy about that. Same. This isn't a Steven Summers movie. All the main characters are dead. Good. Darth Vader's still alive. Darth Vader is not a main character. Grand Milf Tarkin is still alive. I didn't realize this the first time I watched it, but Vader is holding the door shut with his force. Oh, that's good. Right? I never realized that. Me neither. Holy fuck. Easily so the best scene in the movie. Yeah. It cuts that guy in half. Force wasn't enough. He needs to also cut him in half. <laughs> That is Rian Johnson. What is it they've sent us? Felicity Jones' nudes. Out of 10. Five. I'm feeling a seven. I'm gonna give it a seven as well. It's I not without it's flaw. There's a lot of problems I have with yes. it. But I think the benefits far outweigh the, the negatives. I think it's enjoyable. I think it's entertaining. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that bores me to death in the movie. I am never bored by this movie. He also directed 2014's Godzilla. I have the same problem with that movie, where not a lot of it's super interesting, and then the end is pretty good. You guys ready for the next one? No, not yes, really. Yes, I am. Solo time, baby. My wife's in that one. A Star Stop Wars Stop calling her that.